Welcome everybody. Welcome back off the Thanksgiving and holiday break. Word. This is Stub D. PDC CEO. And we are Big Black. Black. An unsuccess. For real. Word. What's going on, everybody? Hey, I hope y'all doing good out there, man. I hope the holidays treated y'all well. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, we here, so obviously we was treated right. And got fatter. Word. You know what I'm saying? Big, more, bigger, blacker, and more successful. So, more you know, successful. Play on words. Y'all already know what it is. And if you don't, fuck you. Word. I ain't gonna lie to you. We don't know what the fuck we talking to y'all about today. <laughs> but we got some shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I did, uh, we did have a conversation beforehand. We was talking about laws of power and how, you know, people, we allow people to get us off our game a little bit. Whether it be, you know, women, haters, whatever. Right. Situations you allow to, to put you in a certain mood or take you out of your vibe. You know what I'm right. saying? So, uh, for me, man, that kind of that was going on with me for the last week. I had I had them niggas on my brain to the point where that shit was affecting business. Right. So I had to go back in my studies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, sometimes you to, got to, son. I had to go back sometimes in my studies to. and, and get myself together. Like, yo, what the fuck is you doing, nigga? This is what you do. But them flies, man, them flies and all that buzzing, Dog, man, it irritates me. Get tired of. <laughs> At some, and the swatter don't catch everything, At some point, man. You, you stand up and pick up a piece, roll something up that you know you can you can knock them with, yeah. and you start looking for them. Like, let me knock this fly down yeah. so this shit can stop buzzing. But, you know, it's I, a different time. Man, I'm seeing the older you get, man, you start thinking on things throughout the years and growing up and how, you know, you think about, man, this, that, and the third it been 20 or 30 of y'all coming up, right. busting heads, doing this, that, and the third. Then you think about it. You know, man, when I do certain shit, man, don't nobody fucking support me, man. Right. But niggas say they got love and all this, that, and the right. third. Ain't never motherfucking my so-called crew ever bought one of my albums. Right. Hey, I that kind of shit bothers me. I remember putting music in the store on consignment. You yeah. know consignment, you know you put a certain amount in. That's right. You can't re up to Oh, me. speaking of that, man, shouts out to Chuck T, man, because that was the first cat. He was at Local Records. That was the first cat that ever told me how to get my shit in the stores and how mm. to package it. And this before I met you. Right. And how to package it. And that was the first cat that ever put my shit in the stores. Chuck man. T, a good nigga, man. Man, I love that dude, man. That and he still, still remembers you. And he's still giving jewels to this yeah. day to, to these artists coming up. But that's what it's like. When you put them, you used to put, uh, they let you put five or they let you put ten. Ten, that's right. Write it down in the book. Boom. That's right. We got ten from you. You can call them, yo, how many copies I got left in there? Uh, you got three copies, uh, you got ten copies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You call and hear that you got ten copies in the store. Yeah, hey, and you and dropped then, off ten hey, copies. And then he was like, well, what you want to sell them for? I said, man, let them, let them go for five. He said, no, man. Word. Ten ninety nine, eleven ninety nine. Yeah. man. Put that price to it. Put the price to it. Yeah. Then you you already you took it out of my mouth. Put yeah. the price to it, stuff. That's it. I'm that's, like, that's I'm like for is. real? You're like, yeah. What you got the news? Yeah. Shit, that man helped me out a lot. He 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 put me on a lot of game. That's what it is. That's man. a young man. He put me on, on a lot of game but, trying to do that shit, man. But what people didn't know is you know how much records you got in the store. Yeah. So if you tell me you went and bought them, I went and got two, bro. Yeah. Supported you. Yeah. I ain't yeah. gonna ask you, show me the, the two that you got. But if you was really a real fan, you would have said, yo, I, I hit my cover, man. Sign yeah. my shit. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you had really fucked with me, you would have been like, yo, sign my shit. Man, that's why I fuck with that's why I fuck with the Chuck being downtown the North Charleston man, cause them boys embraced me and made me feel like family. That's why I live in this area, man. Because them boys treated me better than my own people from the Ville, man. Mm -hmm. And I really mean that. Look me in my fucking face. I said that. Them niggas in North Charleston to Charleston treated me better than y'all Somerville niggas, man. A lot of times that's how I be, man. And then, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers can't say nothing bad about stuff. I ain't never shit nobody out no money or, or did a flam deal or nothing. The only thing niggas got 
get mad at me about is because they bitches love me. Mm. That's, that's good, it. That's a good reason to be mad. I mean, yeah, but you know, you know? that ain't my fault your bitch chose. True. <laughs> Shit. Give her a reason not to well, choose. We, are, we are always talking about the game and not having morals in it. Most niggas don't get that. Yeah, but you know, I ain't. I ain't that's you that's know. a sore spot. You take a nigga bitch. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I but, don't but man, upset, you know what I'm saying? Man. That's why I ain't gonna sit here and say I'm the most goddamn. Um, what's the word? The most. I ain't Captain fucking America. You know what I'm saying? I done did some slime ball shit. You I know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Okay. That's all you can do? God damn. I'm, okay, the shit doesn't happen. Ain't nothing I can do about it now. But you know, uh -huh. be that as it may. You know what I'm saying? We got some wild shit going on in, in, in the Tri-Counties, man. Well, I, I, I hear that. Uh, I hear a lot of times I hear like uh, Joe Budden and cats like that talking about all the people stepping into the game now of yeah. podcasting and talking and interviewing and yeah. stuff like that. So, not locally, we got an influx of people doing the same thing. Yeah. But, yeah. on a bigger scale, you got battles and you got an influx of now artists becoming podcasters and because the game, this the new rap game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Podcasting is the new rap game. Right. So, everybody feel like, you know, their perspective should be heard and could be heard. You know what I'm saying? And they could pop off from their perspective. So, you know, who are you or who am I? Who is anyone to say your voice don't matter? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And, and, you know, that's really what it come down to. Whenever I talk about things, I talk about how you do it, not just the fact that you did do it. Do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't care if you do something. Just don't snake me in the process. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if you if, if I open a burger shop, <laughs> buy your burger shop. <clears throat> as long as I ain't snaking you, right? Stealing your recipes. My burgers is better than the niggas across the street. Yeah. As long as I'm not hating on you, rather be even with a girl. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if you pillow talking, talking about that nigga ain't shit, that nigga cheating on you, that nigga doing this, and that's how you get her. Nigga, you a con artist. Okay, yeah, now that's foul. Now. If you just that's stepped foul. in and said, yo, you know, spit your game, told her yeah. who you was, and she was digging it. Yeah. Then talk, that's, yeah. That's, that's talk, real. talk her out her drawers, right. but don't stew chicken meat though. Right. Don't do that. Because your purpose, if you if you a so-called player, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? A real player ain't gonna bring up the man or right. her man. Cause you're trying to get her to forget that nigga. Cause right. you're trying to get the draws. Unless so, you, unless you can't get her to forget him, so you gotta talk down on him. And now that's a fucking hater. That's a hater. That's a hater. A hundred percent. And that's what we're seeing right now. What we're seeing is an influx of people in the business hating, talking down on the motherfuckers who are already in the business hating. Gotta we, let that shit go, man. You knew this. Shouts out to Slab D. Got me on these edges. You got you got to be able to uh, do your thing without worrying about the people who are already doing their thing. Competition is one thing, but competition is not a, a hating thing. No, competition is something that drives you. It makes you better. It makes you, you know what I'm saying, like feel good about the game. Right. Because right. you got somebody who's stepping up their game, and you like, oh shit, I like what that nigga just did. Yeah. I got to do I, I got to do some shit. I got to flip it down. <laughs> yeah. So now you going back to the drawing board. You like, "Oh, hold up. We got nah, that ain't good enough." Sure. I, that ain't good enough. Oh, this the one. Now you going in. Yeah. And then they doing the same thing. That's that's what that's about. That's what competition is. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I guess maybe that's why they put the name friendly competition. Mm -hmm. But I feel like all competition should be friendly unless you at war. Right? But shit, in in the words of Divine from the Wu Tang Clan, shit. Even before countries go to war, they sit down and map out the plan of the war. Word. You, you understand what it's I'm saying? Strategy. They don't just go to fucking war. It's an art to it. You understand? When we go to war, the countries that are going to war sit down and meditate the war. But y'all wouldn't fucking know that because y'all motherfuckers just be goddamn. Reading Listen, shit it's a, it's and, a art and sharing it. shit on Facebook, and now we got all these Play-Dohs and motherfucking goddamn 
um, philosophers and Aristotle, shit on Facebook, old hoes. Now they praising the Lord. But you was a hoe. People change. Nah, man. People change. A, a cheater can't change his spots, man. I don't know, man. The best preachers I ever heard speak was goddamn gamblers, dealers, and us. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's just their testimony. But and I understand what you're saying. And they ain't to say that they stopped being gamblers, <laughs> okay. dealers, and us. Okay. But they that was the best. They was the best at it because they went through something. Yeah, but preachers are the are the are the are the, are the biggest motherfucking pimps. Oh yeah, you know yeah. the man. Pimp it ain't easy, bro. Well, like yeah. anything Listen. goes when it comes to hoes. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, like, niggas been through something. So I, I feel you. If your testimony can, you know, make somebody avoid what you've been through. That's a good thing. I'm cool yeah. with it. If you're just trying to act holier than die because you done moved somewhere new and niggas ain't know you was That's old, what I got the problem eh, with. That's a little different. That, don't, that don't stand on the soapbox. Because your yeah. mentality ain't changed. just your location. Right. So it's different. If your mentality changed, cool. You know what I'm saying? If you used to be a thief, but now you don't believe in stealing, okay, cool. You still can't come around my shit, but you know, we can meet somewhere. You know what I'm saying? We might can figure it out as long as you ain't never stole from me. But if you still have the same mentality, you just ain't figure out who to steal from yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really can't rock. You know, so if you if you still an old hoe, but just got the uh, different geographical location, location eh, <laughs> Don't be talking to my little girl. Talking no, about no. don't don't do don't this. You, don't do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you still out there getting forty dollars. That's you know right. What I'm saying? So, you know what? You brought that up. I know we're jumping back and forth. This hey, shit, it's all good. Where that forty dollars shit come from? Hey, I don't know. Pimp C. Okay. Okay. Trash getting fucked for forty dollars in the club. Oh. Fucking up the game, bitch. You get no love. Rest in peace, pimp. Rest in oh, peace, pimp man. C. Oh man. Okay. Wow. That Never nigga said about it like trash. That. Trash get yeah. Trash right. like the fuck for forty dollars in the club. That's Not even a lot of that. No, trash. That nigga That's said below a trash hole. like the fuck for forty dollars. That's below a hole. That's trash. And the thing that I don't get is why you ain't on the internet? Mm. Why you ain't got the only fans? Because that's the other part of that line. Trash like the fuck for $40 in the club. Mm -hmm. Fucking up the game, bitch, it gets no love. She be cross country getting all that you got. A thousand a pop. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Parking Bentleys in the lot. <laughs> parking Bentleys in the lot. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga say, he, yeah. they even got to touch the nigga. Like, you know, only cameras and screens. Easiest yeah. money you ever made. The American dream. Well, yeah. and he do, So and right he, now, you got a phone. And he is the one to say, got them hoeing and shit, and, move and, to and the websites. And think about that. Pimp been gone for a long ass time. Yeah. Pimp been gone for a long time. Almost 12 years, if I'm not and, mistaken. And think about that line that nigga said. You don't got to touch these tricks. There's only cameras and screens. Yeah. Easiest money ever made, the American dream. American dream. Yes, sir. But yet, we still got women, $40. Yeah. See... I ain't talking about the ones who getting, you know, 500000 whatever, you the know. Madams, the madams. The madams, yeah. For the trash that's out there for $40. Yeah. Why y'all ain't on the internet? Mm. A OnlyFans subscription, eight ninety nine. Goddamn, you, you can get four or five, you know, tricks mm. that want to see you on, on the screen. You ain't got to touch them. You ain't got to go to them. And you got nationwide exposure. So well, you that's, got what back, that's what Backpage was for. You got the opportunity, but Backpage, you had to meet them. Mm -hmm. OnlyFans is like a, a Instagram for sexual content. Mm, okay. So a nigga see a girl and be like, oh, she fine on Instagram. She got a link to say OnlyFans. Click on that link. Now you can follow her for eight ninety nine. Oh, wow. Okay. So well, now you click it. on that, you can see, you can... See her busting it wide open, whatever they do on that shit. That's what Tumblr used to be. You know what I'm saying? Tumblr, yeah, they they shut down Tumblr. Now. Yeah, that's what Twitter, Tumblr used Twitter to be. Twitter is the new Tumblr for that. For really? Me. Okay. So now you got that niggas all around the world can subscribe to your shit. Goddamn, eight ninety nine. Let's go with simple math. Ten dollars. Goddamn, a hundred subscribers. Mm. Easy, oh, G. Yeah. Easy. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? You mean tell me ain't a hundred tricks around the world that will find you attractive and want to see you? You know what I'm saying? The way you make a thousand dollars a month. That I, I don't. You know that doesn't. Or, that doesn't. That that doesn't compute to me because I'm not. I'm not paying a bitch for no fantasy. Listen, I ain't. I'm not even a script club nigga because I don't like the bingo. I, I I'm not giving up hundreds and or thousands of dollars to see some strange bitch shake. Yeah, and I can get a bitch to do that not for free, but at least. You you know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I like to concentrate my funds towards something that benefits yeah. me. Not something that benefits another nigga. You don't throw money on this girl all night. Salute to them who making their money. But you don't throw your money on this girl all night. She pick up that money and go fuck her nigga. Yeah, she gone. And you left with goddamn a hard dick in your hand. Yeah. Nah, that don't work for me. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'd rather take that money in. Yo, let's go out on a date. Bingo. Let's see what's pop. Let's yeah. See. Movie you know what I'm something. saying? Like something that, that in the end will, you know, benefit me. Not the, not like we talking down on women or anything. We just speaking on dating opposed to throwing money in the club. You know what I'm saying? But niggas say it ain't tricking if you got it. I say it's still tricking. That's just my, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's just my that's logic. What, that's you know one of the saying? stupidest lines I've we, ever heard. We all trick. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a, that's a part of the game. Like, I'm about to say, when you're courting a, a young lady or... Yeah. You first meet a lady and hey, let's go out, blah blah blah. Is that tricking? Or are you just trying to get to know somebody? See, to me it's all based on who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of females who would be like, Oh yeah, that nigga tricky. Mm -hmm. Whereas you just being nice. Mm -hmm. Shit, I might have talked to you goddamn every waking moment that I could. Right. For this month. Yo. Put that on your phone bill. Ah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Just for niggas who do that shit. Put that on your phone bill. Another nigga might say, yo, I sweat out your weed. <laughs> work, but work. get your head done. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm just saying. Niggas do that. You know what I'm saying? But, or another nigga might say, uh, what you doing right now? You hungry? Let's go get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I call it being nice. Another nigga might call it tricking. Yeah. It's all based on the perspective. What I call tricking is, let me buy you this $5,000 bag, this $10,000 bag, and I barely know you. Yeah. Let me put you, let me, let me put you on a plane and do all of this stuff like this and take you to to an island somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, well I mean, okay, maybe now, that, maybe now, that ain't. Now maybe. I understand that line, it ain't tricking if you got it, because if you multi, then yeah. like $100 to you is $100,000. Uh, yeah, $100 to, to 1000 there, you know what I'm saying, it, it, yeah. is uh, 100000 to a millionaire. That, so I can understand so that. So in a, in a sense, maybe we can't even call that trip. Tricking that, y'all tell tell me what y'all think, cause cause I guess a nigga with uh, a international nigga who happened to be chilling in uh, uh in Mexico this month, <coughs> excuse me, happened to be chilling in Mexico this month, but he want the company of a young flavor. Mm -hmm. That's fly him up. That's the equivalent to you, you know, sending shorty an Uber. Yeah. Or yeah. you know, old school a taxi cab. You know what I'm saying, yeah. like. That's the equivalent to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm over here. You over there. I want you over here with me. Yeah. I'm a sin for you. Okay. So well, that maybe... Uh, okay. I don't know. Maybe maybe we can't consider none of that trick. And I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, hey. Let that's me something to think about. Anyway. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I will say, uh, I think it's established by the woman, though. Because a lot of times, women would see a nigga as just a date. Mm -hmm. Like, I done seen shorties, I done heard women talk about how a nigga um, listed in their phone as food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever, you know... When I want to eat, I hit that nigga, or that nigga hit me, and I said, oh, that's food. I know we going to a nice oh, restaurant. Shit. I know we going to eat good. 
<laughs> you something else. Oh, so, man. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, I, I heard man. something. I heard something on the uh, podcast. Um, I think it's called Poor Minds. Mm-hmm. Young ladies is talking. Both of them went to college. Both of them live in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hmm. Motherfucker's weird, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people are weird. People look weird, man. <laughs> people are weird. People are weird. Man, shouts out to uh, Melissa Brittany. Stay, stay away from her. <laughs> when she said... Boy, the internet. Boy, y'all motherfuckers is weird. I felt that. Oh, my God. Y'all Listen, need to stop, man. I told you. I told y'all you. need to stop, man. I, I told you what she said, man. She, <laughs> she said, you know, goddamn. Oh, my God. So, sometimes we stay fucking with people we shouldn't We shouldn't should never fuck with. Never fuck with, man. Oh, my God, man. Then y'all it, are weird, man. Then it comes. It, uh, it always comes when you try to extend the olive branch. Yeah. When you extend the olive branch, motherfucker want to slap your hand down and then go cry that you did something to them because you extended the olive branch. Yeah, look, man, if I if I tell you I want to work with you or I got some business I want to deal, that's what the fuck I mean. Ain't no ain't no need for no extended fucking conversation or or all that extra shit. I want to work with you. Oh, cool. You want to work with me? Send me what you got. Shit, I want to work with you too, stuff. Let's fucking work. Too easy. Period. I don't got time for the extra shit. It's too easy. What do I gotta court you? Listen, and I told you, man, most of the problems I have come from people I go sit down with. God damn. Cause I sit down with them for the purpose of being allies and working together. They sit down with me for the purpose of trying to figure out what I'm doing so that they could duplicate it. Right. When in reality, you could have actually worked with me and we could have made things happen and we could have been dope together. Yeah. Instead, you create some some drama and separation. For nothing. For For, what? For no reason. Ain't been no problems before. Why should it be problems after? And then you find a group of people to go hang with that say, ah, I don't fuck with that nigga. I don't rock with him. Nigga. Ain't nobody did nothing but offer y'all opportunity. God damn. What's wrong with that? Offer opportunity and create an enemy. You know what I'm saying? Nigga 50 said, uh, showing love will get you killed. Every time. And, and every day when I think about showing love, I try to run that line. Showing love will get you killed. Because every time I showed love, if them niggas was capable, I would have been dead a million times. So you get to the point where you be like, uh, fuck that. And that's why, and you always say, man, goddamn, man, you be making all them goddamn beats and tracks and shit, and you just be hoarding them. Because, why? Why should I let them out? I make the shit just like the shit I was making the day before we even started. What you heard me say? Shit, I'll put this in the vault for me. Yeah. And the sad thing about it is if, if, People get out their own way. Like, shit could really be dope. Like, shit could really be dope as fuck if everybody get out their own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody you could name who probably got a platform here, I done extended the olive branch to them. Plenty. Plenty. Damn it, anybody you could name. Plenty. And out of all them people, it's always some bullshit afterwards. Maybe, maybe I'm a fucked up person. You know what I'm saying? Maybe when I have a conversation with you, my conversation takes you to the point where you like, he's such a fucked up person. <clears throat> I have to go after him. I don't know if y'all, you know, can relate out there. I don't know if y'all go through the same things. I don't know if y'all have the same issues and problems. But, you know, it shouldn't be a situation where when you reach out to people, you now have to beef with them and have problems with them. 
You should only have problems with people you actually have problems with. No, man, you know what, man? Man, fuck all that, man. Look at me. Some of y'all need to go get some fucking counseling, man. Seriously. Seriously. Us as black folks, we don't we don't tend to deal with our demons and this, that, and third. Man, go get some fucking counseling, man. Get some professional help, man. Because yeah. medicating yourself, popping pills, smoking, drinking, whatever the fuck it is you do to make you feel better for that little bit of time, it ain't working. And ain't nobody else you have to suffer because you got something going on. Jesus Christ. I, I don't I don't I don't get it. I, I'm just looking down shit right now, man. Motherfuckers is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. This thing I is mean scrolling, scrolling this timeline. Right shit. now. In the ridiculous. Of the show. In the middle of the show. Right. I mean shit. I, I, I mean What you tuning in for? God damn. Listen, man, y'all are weird, but everybody's not weird. But some people are weird. But you, you got people who might be watching right now who want to know where it is. Weird, fronting like. <sighs> Let's see some some shit I saw last night. It was this bitch. Cause I work different shit and I work at nights, and so it's just it's it was it was these people on Facebook. They paid and fly and got all the designer clothes and the little jewels and the teeth and the this that and the third. Then when you come to their spot, these motherfuckers got a goddamn twenty inch flat screen on a milk crate with with two air mattress in a living room. So similar to what we talked about last week, just uh, front the last show, just front. Come on, man, stop that, man. Cause I ain't no bragging, dude. I ain't bragging on shit I got or what I do. I'm not gonna show you no money. I'm not gonna show you no weaponry. You know what I'm saying? Even all through these years, making videos and shit, you ain't never seen drugs or guns in none of my music videos. Mm -hmm. None of that. You hear me speak about certain things in the music because I live. That was a part of my life at a certain time in my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? I still can speak upon it now because shit really happened. Right. That's why I don't talk to young dudes about the shit that me and the team did because it sounds so unbelievable. Motherfuckers be like, man, y'all niggas ain't did that shit. Or oh, it's glorification. Or it's glorification. Yeah. And they want to try to, you know, replicate what you did. And, and the shit we did, you try that shit now, you yeah. will die. It's a different time. Different day and age. <laughs> the police ain't playing no more. Yeah. Period. I, and I, I say for me, like, when I say shit is crazy, it's like, y'all niggas can't be that hungry out this motherfucker. Because cause, cause you're not making money. So you're not hungry for money. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can't be that that hungry for drama. That you sit down with a motherfucker who really genuinely say, yo, let's work. Let's work. Hit you up. Say, let's work. Want to have a sit down with you for the benefit of both parties. And now, all of a sudden, we fight. You ain't even say, no, I don't want to do it. Right. Right. You just leave the table. We shake hands. Everything good. Dap up. Like, all right, I'll hear from you soon. Either yeah or no. Never hear from you. And it's, oh, it's such and such. And now you throwing out subliminal messages and talking shit and siding with the motherfuckers who decided they don't want to fuck with the other person. Right. And it's like, that's crazy to me. Because you could easily say the word no. And you ain't even gotta the, say no. You could the you, drama that we didn't have last week, we wouldn't have this week. Right. Just the opportunity that was presented, you ain't want it. But say no, man, I ain't fucking with that. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. You can easily you. say no, I don't wanna do that, whatever the case may You're be. You're not obligated. We we good. Yeah. So why I gotta be all this bullshit? But but but, but man, that, that really bothers me, man, because when I if I reach out 
and I tell somebody, look, I want to work with you. I got some shit for you, blah, blah, blah. That means I sat in my fucking lab listening to the shit you've done over how many long time or how long you've been right. doing it. And oh shit, you know what? Let me let me do a lane for this artist. I want to work with this artist because I like the flow, the style, blah, blah, blah. Let me see how they sound in this stub chamber. And it's a compliment. It is. It's a compliment. I took the time to listen to what you do. I took the time to hear your style. Mm -hmm. And I crafted my shit. My shit to your style to fuck with you. Shit is a compliment. It don't, nah, don't get it twisted. It don't mean you got to work with that person. But that shit should be seen as flattery and not goddamn a diss to you. Because I'm not saying, oh, my shit will make you better. This, that. Your no. shit whack, you need me. Right. No, That's not saying. what the fuck I'm saying. I listen to your style. I listen to your flow. I crafted some shit for you. Handcrafted. Yeah. Let me see how you sound on this shit. Let's work. Because I'm a fan. No, I don't want to send it to you for it to sit in your computer or your email for, for six, two seven years. months. No, I want to sit down with you, chop it up, put that shit together, and and create that feeling that I'm feeling right no, now. No, man, the first thing motherfuckers want to talk about is money, this, that, and the third. Motherfucker, ain't nobody around here making no goddamn real rap money, man. Nope. Nobody. Because all these motherfuckers I, you know what? I'm sorry. I apologize. But a lot of cats I know that's in this goddamn world right here that are local artists, this, that, and the third, got regular nine to fucking fives. Yeah. Ain't Period. No, ain't nobody uh, not on a nine to five, not selling weed, or doing... And, and I'm not going to sit here and name artists and speculate nah, not who gonna making name rap nobody. money. I don't give a shit about... Because I don't worry about the next man pocket. No, I worry about my fucking pocket. Truth be told, I don't think none of these niggas making money from rap. Niggas might have money to spend on rap. Rap. Bingo. Might have money to spend on videos, have money to spend on their image, but you ain't getting that from a rap check. Like, Like in these next six weeks, eight weeks, watch how many new goddamn rappers and rap crews pop off after filing their churn. Yeah. And then you ain't gonna hear from them again till next January, February. Yeah. And that's a problem in itself. That's a that's a, a problem in itself that we face. You know, we talk about that. Goddamn, how you, <coughs> how you come off four grand, eight grand mm. every year and in a couple months they ain't got shit to show for it. Nothing. <coughs> you know what I'm Excuse saying? Me. Like not not on no preaching shit, just on some real shit. Like create some shit that's gonna generate revenue for you. You know what I'm saying? Like you nigga, you wanna step in my lane, buy a fucking camera. Buy a camera. But if you buy a camera and learn how to use that motherfucker, you could always eat. You could eat through the yeah, course of the game. Some 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 people have done that and the shit they've done. And tried and put out was fucking trash. But it's it's about it's not about money. It's about passion. So I use that as an example because what motherfuckers ain't realize about me when I bought a camera is I was passionate about that. That's shit. right. You know what I'm saying. So what I didn't know, I wanted to learn and get better at. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, you get some shit that you're passionate about. You might be passionate about goddamn. Uh, Pressure washing. <laughs> yeah. Washing the motherfucker car. Pressure washing houses. Mm -hmm. Driveways. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a motherfucker I work with every day. Yeah, you know, I did three yards. Made 500 off that yard right there. You or, know? Or, 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 like, that's what it is. Or pressure washing. Or pressure washing a bitch. Shouts out to Rambo. Hey. But still, man... This shit is wild, man, because motherfuckers get, it's like motherfuckers get mad at you, talk down on you because you don't need them. Hmm. Listen, I've always said this. I don't need to spend money in nobody's studio. I got my own. 
Right. I don't need to spend no money on mixing and mastering because I can do it myself or I can send the files to PD and he'll do it for me. Because there's been plenty of times, PD, man, my fucking ears hurt. Could you mix this down for me? Got you. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to spend money with nobody else to make videos because I got PD. And he'll charge me whatever he want to charge me. Or if he don't want to charge me, he don't want to charge me because we're in it together. Right. We don't got to go to nobody else network. He got his own fucking network. His right. own network. We're doing a podcast with visuals. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? You're not just hearing us on a microphone on Spotify with your kids and your fucking fire alarm going off in the back because you haven't changed the fucking battery. We got a network, producers, studios, I mean, makeup artists, Jesus Christ. But you know what you just said? You just spoke on the exact reason why people got a problem. You just listed all the reasons why people got a problem. Truth is truth. Because the studio nigga, mad because you done cut him off. Mm -hmm. The producer nigga, mad because you done cut him off. The engineer, mad because you cut him off. The camera guy, mad because you cut him off. Yeah. The niggas who got their own low sections, low networks, low media companies, mad because you cut them off. Yeah. You done cut off so many people on your Tyler Perry shit, done created your own shit. Now, other motherfuckers might create their own shit. Tell me why you mad for. So, I was talking to Wifey and I was like, that's the biggest problem motherfuckers have with us. They don't like the fact that we can do what we want to when we want to. When? And I don't need y'all for shit, but goddamn. I don't get it. I, I would think you would join that shit. I would think you would rock with that shit. Motherfuckers who can do whatever they want when they want to. Wouldn't you want to join that shit? Wouldn't you want that shit... To be on your resume, wouldn't you want to be able to say, you know what? I'm going to drop a two-pack today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drop an EP today. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, wouldn't you want to be on that tip where you could do what you want when you wanted to? That's what we all fighting for. We all fighting for financial freedom. We all fighting for the freedom to live our dreams, not to spend eight to 12 hours on a job every day right. doing some shit we don't want to do. Right. We all fighting for that freedom. So wouldn't you want that? Right. So why are you fighting it? We can get it a whole lot quicker together than fighting against each other. You know what I'm saying? And like, I ain't really mean for this conversation to go ahead, but <laughs> the truth of the matter is like, y'all niggas need to hear this shit. Like y'all... Got to stop with that shit. Let's work together. I mean, last night I, I sent, because uh, you know I said, I've been posting the South Carolina podcast shit that we got on the, on the app. And I'm like, yo. How many motherfuckers jumped on it? Nobody. <laughs> and so, so I took it upon myself. I said, you know what? I, I, I get it. PD might be a polarizing figure in, in some way, shape, or form. PD uh, might have been considered an asshole by people in your circle. PD might have been associated with some drama that you might have heard through the course of a year or two. Man, see, so you know what? That's no, the no, fucking let me problem, finish. though. Let me finish, though. Make shit personal. So you know what? Let me, let, me, let me take that away from y'all. Hey, it's PD, whatever, whatever, whatever. You benefit from the people that's on the app. Your numbers are still your numbers. Mm-hmm. We don't take away from your numbers. All we do is take your link, hook it up, mm-hmm. create a page, make you a show. Nobody has to know you want it, or everybody can know you want it. It just benefits you more than not being on there. It's a place for Carolina people to come and find everything. 
So, I sent that out. See if motherfuckers bite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because my whole thing is like, yeah, I get it. It's a lot of snakes out here. It's a lot of people who come promising great things and actually snake people. I got you. I ain't one of them people. So when I come, I tell you overwhelmingly how it benefits you. And it's your choice to figure out if you want to rock with it or not. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't be no drama there. Period. We should be able to work together. There should be such and such radio and Nobody Grinds Radio presents artist showcase with artists that you play on your station that, you know, the people listen to that they fuck with, people that I play on my station that people listen to that they fuck with, and we promote, boom, yo, 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 everybody, you know what I'm saying, and everybody eat from that shit. That's yo, what it should I, be. I remember, yo, stop. Yo, what's up, PD? <clears throat> yo, how you want? How you want the shit listed on the album? And it said, man, I don't give a fuck what you put on that bitch. Let's just put it out and keep it fucking moving. Too easy. I don't give a fuck what you put on there. I don't give a fuck if Jig come first or TC Records come first. I don't give a fuck. Matter of fact, you ain't even got to put TC Records on there. But you like, man, come on, goddamn. But still, you know what the fuck I'm saying. But man. it's on My there. My motherfuckers is weird, man. But it's on there. And it's it's on there and it's represented and there ain't been no snake shit. Not from you, not from me, ever. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we can come together, two people with two different labels, you know what I'm saying, can come together and say, yo, let's work. We ain't know each other from Adam and Eve. And y'all motherfuckers, not to cut you off, bro, and y'all cats can't even fucking front. I've been goddamn having a studio since 90 fucking 6 in the middle of fucking Robin Wynn. Mm. Goddamn. And all y'all little niggas that was rapping came through my fucking lab. Word. But now don't nobody know me. But you know what? I don't want to sound like a bitter dude. But I'm just saying, man. Y'all motherfuckers is a trip, man. I don't want no money off y'all niggas, man. I just want to work. I The only thing... Just like I told you, man, the only thing I ever wanted to hear when I started rapping way back when was, boy, I felt that shit. That's all I ever wanted. You just want to be heard. That's it. Or when I got to producing, because I was just an MC from 88 to 91, and then I met my man Gat Rock. And me, Gat Rock, and Clay C started Cold Red. Then we added Fascist. And Gat Rock was the producer. And that man basically was my goddamn mentor in the beat making process. Showing how to make beats. Because when I first met this nigga, man, and he played me something. And I was like, man, that shit. And this is how you know I was ignorant. I was like, man, this shit sound like a real rap record with a chorus and everything. How the fuck did you do that? Right. Man, I got a full track, a Casio keyboard, and, and, and a sampler. I'm like, word? So you can record me in, like, in a real big studio? And it, come on. Man. Yeah. Ever since then, I was fucking hooked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hooked. Hooked. And in 96, when me and Rec got our little crib... On, on, on Lilac Place in the middle of the wind and I put up the studio in what we called the pink room I started cranking shit the fuck out made classics literally classics hood classics it was a motherfucking dream team the holy trinity me slab fucking D and Q God right. and that was TC the rap group I ain't talking about the 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 Goddamn, maybe 100 members strong, not gang, but wolf pack. But now, reaching out to some of these same cats, motherfuckers just like, ah, you know, man, what well, fuck y'all? Shit. Talking to niggas, how the fuck, how the fuck, goddamn, I, I got songs on your ass in the vault when you 14, 15, and now all of a sudden you want to tell me to talk to your manager. Mm. Man, nigga, fuck you. And your manager. That's why y'all whack now. I don't give a fuck. I mean, sure. at the end of the day, these niggas going to be what they going to be. I don't give a fuck, or maybe man. they, Or maybe they always was what they was. 
it is what it is. I don't give a fuck because I don't make music for the masses. When I make music or I drop some shit, it's it's for it's for people from my era, my my wave. Like we got Langston Hughes the third with they adult contemporary head nod music. That's their lane for our age group or my age group. Because you know you you behind me a little bit. But you know, but my age group still wanna hear. You know, cause Langston, they they got that tribe, you know, native tongue, mm -hmm. you know, not pretty boy, it's still it's still a little grimy, but you know, it's 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 hip hop and they spitting, but we still wanna hear that goddamn I'll knock your fucking head off, knock your teeth out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I used to drop this on you it's still a lane for that too. Right. Cause goddamn, we all came up with this shit. Just because I'm 40 something years old, that don't mean I got to leave this alone. Or um, all I hear from motherfuckers is, and I've talked to you about this many times. All I hear from motherfuckers is, oh, you too old for that. Yeah. You still doing that? Well, what they're really saying is, you too old to be following your dreams because I've been quit following mine. And, you know, that's why I tell people a lot of times, man, you got to pay attention to motherfuckers who talking to you and what they talking about. Mm. And you got to see why they saying what they saying. You know, if you quit on your dreams and just went and worked that job and you figure this the rest of your life, rest of my life going to be working this job. Of I, course, I don't want to live like that. Of course you're going to be mad at a nigga who's tr still trying to pursue some other shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the thing about it is, like, if I love something, more than likely, I'm going to love it till the day that I die. Mm -hmm. So why would I stop fucking with some shit that I love? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, these niggas are still, goddamn, I don't know how old Rob Bass is. That nigga's still touring. Come on. And then the shit that really don't, I got an icebox where the heart used to be. But goddamn, you know, it don't hurt your feelings. But you're like, goddamn. Because the way they come at you is like, Oh man, Stub trying to be Jay Z or or, or or this that and third because they can't say I'm trying to be like the Migos because y'all already know who the fuck what it is. But you know, ain't nobody trying to be no goddamn. No, I am not pursuing goddamn fucking stardom or a record deal or a record deal. Yeah. First of all, I don't need a record deal because I I can I have I have my own. I have my own label, and I'm still on this man label. I'm still signing this man. Still. Y'all might think otherwise or whatever, whatever, but I'm still signing this fucking man. And if yeah. this man want to concentrate on some other shit, all I'm going to say is, all right, yeah, 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 because that'll give me time to goddamn get this out the way, and then when you did it, bingo. And that's what the fuck is happening. And we can do two things at once. And the rust getting knocked off, man. So, at the end of the day, man, these people, uh, they don't understand. It ain't personal. It ain't towards, uh, for anybody else out there who can relate. It ain't towards you. You ain't the problem. It's their mentality. It's whatever they got going on. Whoever burnt them. Whatever situation hurt them. Got them feeling the way they feeling and in, in, in their feelings the way they are. And it's unfortunate, man. You know, like, it's, it, it was, uh, could have been plenty Whitney Houston's. Mm. Had niggas not been trying to make girls fuck them for beats and shit in the mm, studio. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, your experience is, it turns you off from certain things. And, and then yo, you. That's why I've never had. A female MC. Mm. Because in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, I hope this broad don't think I'm trying to fuck her. And that's that's one of the biggest issues. Like, when I was single, I had my studio, mm -hmm. and I'd be recording. Females would come through. Young playboy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Goddamn, you know, I'm chilling, taking handling my business. Mm -hmm. Niggas, they might be around, might not have no car, no place to stay, goddamn. Right. Damn, they're homeless. So, you know, I, I might look appetizing to you. Right. But see, I ain't never fuck with that shit. Because I knew if I was to fuck with any girl in the studio, 
then get a girl. That would be a problem. I'm fucking with your music. Yeah. I'm fucking with my business. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I did end up getting my girl and you know what I'm saying? Like getting married and all of that shit. So imagine I had a girl coming through the studio who we've been doing music strong. And all of a sudden, even though I'm single at the time, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I get a girl, and my girl is like, yo, this bra looking at me funny. Y'all done <laughs> had something going on. Bingo. You know what I'm saying? And, and that shit is inevitable. But yeah, like, this shit is difficult because you in the studio, y'all, it's an intimate setting. It is, it is. Music is playing, y'all passionate about what y'all hearing, and it's easy to get caught up. In a scenario like that. But I won't say don't give females the opportunity. I just say it's all about your mentality and your self-control. The problem is these niggas don't have no self-control. These niggas is opening studios and buying cameras and becoming photographers for the very point of getting women to have sex with. You fucking up the game. Because mm. now you got these little girls and then you got them. Yeah, you know, let me get you to... You know, let me get you to put these pasties on your breasts because I yeah. want to see you with your breasts out. Yeah. Not because you want to take a good photo or, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, let me, you want this beat right here. You got to yeah, do something for me. Come on, talk You know about what I'm saying? Talk like, about it. Talk about it. So you ain't trying to talk help nobody. It. You actually hurting them because you making them relate that uh, experience to that experience. Yes. Now that you done did that, you feel bad about that experience. So you stop wanting to do that experience. And you got a lot of people that fall in that scenario. You got a lot of artists that was with a team and left that team and lost all their music. Mm. I can't get my music. So now you relate this experience to this experience. You don't want to fuck with nobody else no more. Yeah, yeah. And because you might yeah. not have the know-how yeah. to create your own shit, now you just don't do it at all. Yeah. And we got a lot of talent that's that falls into that. So when we reach out to people, they done been burnt like that and they like, oh man, like, no, nah, I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, and then we sitting there like, yo, what's the problem? Yeah, what the fuck is the? But the reality is they done been burnt, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we've been fortunate. Yeah. We was, we was able to find some shit that we love find a way that we could do it on a consistent basis mm -hmm. without needing anybody well, else. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason that's why right. back in the day when y'all used to say, yo, I want to get you to come with me to perform and do this and do that. And I tell you straight up in your face with money, my money on the line, buy you a camera, yo. Buy you a camera so that you can just hand your camera off to your homeboy who already with you let them film that shit, and if you want to edit it, send it to me. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I would tell you that. Why? Because you can't afford the price it would cost for me to follow you around for two days. Mm -mm. You can't afford that price. So with that understanding, I give you game. Yeah, you might learn how to use that camera. Yeah, eventually you might not book me for I ain't give a fuck about my bottom line. I was talking to you about yours. And niggas took that shit the wrong way. Oh, this nigga don't want to shoot with me, man. He ain't, <laughs> ain't want to shoot. Like, y'all niggas is fucking stupid, man. And it, it, y'all got to stop, man. Like, this shit, is, this shit is fucking irritating. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be completely honest. It's Talk irritating it. when you trying to help a motherfucker. And I ain't even talking about helping you out like you need me. But I'm talking about, Giving I see you, you. I see you, you dope. I like the fact that you dope. Motherfucker ain't never told you you was dope in your life. Come on. And I come to you and I say, yo, you dope. I want to work with you. And immediately, as soon as the first person who told you you dope and they want to work with you, genuinely comes to you, you take that shit as hate. <laughs> Like y'all get it. Y'all gotta it. stop, man. I like don't you get don't, it. if you don't know uh don't got stop. shit to hate on, man. Don't got shit to hate but, on. And that's man. what I'm saying. Like motherfucker ain't never you done been coming to the studio for so long and you say, What you think of that track? Oh yeah, that's straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like 
<laughs> nigga ain't never told you you was dope. Nigga ain't never told you, yo, if you do this with your style, if you do with this with your voice, if you flip it like this, get like, produced. You, know what I'm saying? you ain't never been in that scenario, but a nigga come to you and say, yo, got some shit specifically for you. You ain't never heard that before, dog. You know what my you know what my barometer is when cats come in the studio, dog. If we don't argue when we in the lab. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. If every badass MC or or every goddamn any time I was in the studio with anybody, including you, if we don't fucking argue about something, something ain't right. Listen, pressure. You apply pressure to motherfuckers. No, I can. Use, I don't want to do a track with you in the first take, the first mix. PD. That's it. How was that? That's oh, it. that shit was dope, stuff. Oh, that's it. Get the fuck out of here, that's man. That's what I'm saying. Like, you apply, Come on, man. You apply pressure. And y'all not applying pressure. Y'all going places where a motherfucker like, yeah, that's good. Go to the next tape. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and y'all doing that and y'all think that's the way to do it. Even a video shoot. Motherfucker pay you for a video mm. and don't want to shoot the scenes. What well, nigga, how, how we gonna get this video done? Yeah. Oh, we, we still shooting some more? Nigga, if I ain't gave a fuck, I'd be like, nah, we, we good, bro. We good. Well, why well, my video look like, nigga, because you ain't want to shoot. You ain't want to shoot it. Or you can actually say, this nigga got a vision for me. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker here to help. Let me let them help. Let me let them work. Let me let them cook. Because if a, if a chef came to your house and you paid a chef to cook, you wouldn't be in the kitchen talking about, hey, I wouldn't put that much salt, bro. Bro. No, you would let that motherfucker cook. So bruh. when you hire a chef, or if a chef come to you and say, yo, I want to cook you a meal, let that motherfucker cook. Never in a million years. Because you was the first person to ever do a video for me. I watched him my whole life. But never in a million years did I think it would take, at minimum, 10 to 12 hours to make a video for a three-minute song. Hmm. Never in my wildest dreams. Yeah. And you know I used to come. God damn! Man, PD, man, God damn. Hey, you did it. But goddamn, dog, I never do, never in a million years until I met this guy and actually see, and this is when it was transitioning into digital. So right. I hate to see when we're talking about actual film. Analog. And film. Analog and yeah. film, where you actually have to, not actually have to, but when they really had to mix that shit in the soundtrack nah, and listen, splice it. and You cut. had to play that motherfucker into the computer. Yeah. You had the audio, video, red, oh, yellow, white. Oh, shit. You had the red, yellow, white, that bitch, into the computer. You had to let that shit play. play. Wow. Let the power go out or some shit happen. You had to let that motherfucker play. If that song was five minutes, you had to play each clip for five, five minutes. See? Load that shit in the system. Get the audio together. Mm. That reminds me before... You know how I used to make my beats, man? I'd have to play each portion of whatever I was making for, for the exact, exactly. if my, if I wanted a, a, a four verse song at four minutes and 50 seconds, I literally had to play the beat for that long, yep. the cymbals for that long, yep. the, 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 the bass lines, the Hi anything. Hats, man, that instrument. shit was wild. Then you had to bounce them shit. Oh my God. you ain't had no unlimited tracks. You had to bounce. You had to know track. how to do and it. Most, and working uh, off a four track. Four track. That means you did you did one, you did two, bounce that bitch, bounce that And then bitch. you gotta be like, okay, I can save two and four, or I can save three and four for vocals and overdubs. But boy, I'm gonna have to damn bounce them over here. Yeah. Cause you only had so much tape. And, and you, them Max L 120s was the key. And you had to have them motherfuckers right. <laughs> you had to have them right because they ain't been no going back. <laughs> Nigga, listen. Do you know how, man, I used to, it used to take me hours because if you playing that shit and you fuck up, 
I was that dude. I was that dude. I used to fuck up right at the end and have to run that shit and, back and start over. And this how this how flam I was. I was a nigga who would fuck up in uh-huh. the middle of the song and be like, <laughs> "We gonna roll with it." And keep playing. Yeah, you, so you, when yeah. you listen back to the old shit, oh man, you know what? Goddamn, you know what? Hold on, excuse me. I know we, I know we That's order it. production, but goddamn, this how real this shit is, man. Word. This, this how real this shit is. I keep these shit in a fucking safe. This is how real this shit is, man. Look at this. Do y'all niggas know what the fuck these are? Do y'all know what these are? Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. I got plenty. Plenty. The Lord. And this is after this is after niggas stole the first two years worth. Word. And I still got these shits, man. I'm talking about Fuji, Fuji 90 minutes, Sony 90 minutes. I got the Maxell 120s in this bitch. And have an understanding, you had to record it double time. <laughs> so. I got the I got the Maxell. Where, where the Maxell at? Oh, oh, this the TDK 110. Oh, that's, when, that's when it got real. This this the TDK 110. When you son. had the TDKs. That's when it you, got real. Listen, man. Read, you know what, PD? Read, 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 read what that says on that. Stub Beats Ain't 2002, Volume 1. Read, hey. read, read one more for me. This for you, Fats D. Fats D, Cocaine Raps, Volume 1. Come on, Lost man. Lost Hog, TC Records. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, y'all ain't fucking with me, man. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. You had to label that shit yourself. And you had to label them shit. Oh, this is the TDK SA one hundred. Mm. It yeah. got this when they got real. This this was like when y'all niggas got y'all new new uh, iPad iPod. And, and here shit. we go, the TDK CD base one fucking twenty. Mm. This was the best you could get. Two hours worth of goddamn audio reel. Look look how old school that is. Look look what I got to hold it together with. Because we used to have to splice the shit. Yeah. Man, yo, yo, man, that's, fuck y'all, that's, man. That's what it is, man. I, I know we done, we done took y'all down a, a whole nother lane than you might have expected. Man. But this is big, black, and unsuccessful, man. You got to expect the unexpected with us, man. Let me put my shit up for PD try to damn steal it. So damn, I found me. I, I found me. All right. I got my own rack. You man. already know. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, but shit, I love that shit, man. This y'all the, boys are trips. Uh, yeah, I'm moving around. So what? This this <sighs> this was uh, damn. This is what y'all could expect from us moving forward, man. You know, uh, the short shows was due to some some un, unseen shit that happened, but uh, we're gonna definitely make sure we keep providing y'all with content, providing y'all with nostalgia, providing y'all with real shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what real niggas gonna talk about when they sit down, man. You got something you wanna say to people? Close out, man. No, thank you for watching. Um, I'm not trying to ruffle nobody's feathers, but that's just my truth. And, you know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Because ain't nobody never got down, did no crazy shit to me. So. And take take this shit for what it's worth, man. Ain't nobody hating on y'all. Shit, we got love for y'all. We try to work with y'all. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna work with us, cool. But... Don't take it like nobody is hating on you or coming at you. No, man. man. People trying to work with you. People trying to build with you because they got love for your art. And you know what I'm saying? They're trying to create art together. That's it. But this is Big Black and Unsuccessful, man. We appreciate y'all time. See y'all next time. Peace.